Okay, so this post was released uh, yesterday, and it's uh, Militian Events, Lunar New Year Hot Day. So, the year of the rabbit is finally upon us to celebrate the Lunar New Year. We're giving out a special reward, so check out the details below. So, log in this weekend, Saturday, January 21st, to 7, from 7am until um, Thursday, January 26. Okay, so you have a little bit of time to get this. Log in during the event period to receive a Nian Shuo whistle. I'm probably saying that wrong. Claim the item from the hot day menu to receive it on your current character or claim later if you wish to receive it on another character. Personally, I don't think that really matters at all because like it's a pet, it's shared among all characters. So you don't really need to be concerned what character you claim this on. This item can be moved between characters through the bank. And you can only claim the item from the hot day menu once during the event period. So this is a little pet. Looks like some sort of like red demon fire dog thing or something. And it has like a 118 minutes of summon time and a 5x5 five five inventory. So it's just a cute little event pet and probably doesn't do anything special. You can extend the summon time and expand the inventory by uh, doing fin sync with it. So anyway, don't miss out on this event. Be sure to get it before Thursday, January 26th, just by logging in. And let's get back into game and start working on our Grandmaster missions. I actually didn't see that post like yesterday when it was posted, and so it must have been posted kind of late. I just kind of like saw it on like the uh, an announcement for it on Steam like right before I started my stream today. Okay, so we are working on Grandmaster missions with my main character for right now. So we need to get 
our missions for Grandmaster Medicine. So we need Medicine Seals and Gunslinger Seals. We need 10 of each. So we'll be doing the... We'll be doing the first and third mission for Gunslinger, and the second mission will be um, the Medicine Talent. So third mission, Gunslinger, let's find out what that is. And second mission, Medicine Talent. And uh, first mission, Gunslinger. Okay, so let's see what we have. So, one player shadow mission. That's uh, for the first gunslinger one. That's easy. And the uh, martial arts competition, which I'm not going to do. And we also have to gather 50 mana herbs. Okay, so let's do the herbs first. Let's go to our homestead. This is why I grow herbs on my homestead. Because it makes quests like this really easy. Okay, let's uh, summon this stall bag. Because he'll pick up the herbs, which we need to also do. And make sure you don't have anything on your hands. And let's get to work. Probably need to get like five or six patches. Oh wow, that one took care of a lot. Four patches might be enough. We'll need one more. Okay, this one should do it. And these herbs will respawn again at um, midnight. EST time. So let's exit and then talk to Lazaro. Second mission is always gathering herbs of some kind for medicine. So it's really easy. I don't need that spare one. Open that bag back up. Alright, let's do that shadow mission. And then we'll be working on Grandmaster missions with Sapphire Neko too, because we are, um... We're trying to get his Grandmaster Merchant... Alan. Fight. There we go.
And let's get her with that. GFX Tiffany, thanks for the follow. Yeah, today we're working on um, commerce and uh, grandmaster missions. that Let's see his final hit. Okay, mission cleared. See you on Gunslinger. And why did that little oh, that's probably left over from when I was working on the uh, tailoring one? Uh, currently I'm not really looking to get more like uh, artwork done. So let's go to Tailton. Go to the druid's house. So I need to use up this shadow crystal, so I think I'm going to, uh... Because it expires in 14 hours. If I don't use it now, then I, I probably won't use it off stream and then it'll probably expire. Oh wait, but I need to get some uh, shadow mission passes. So we need to go to the bank. And 
and we can uh, claim this reward. That will give us a shadow mission pass. And then we'll get Baltane Pass from this, which I think I'll actually keep. I need a few more for nowhere to run. I don't need the Dungeon Pass. Let's put that here and put that over here. Okay, now let's go back and do that Shadow Mission. Yeah, this time I'm not really, like, looking to get any art done. Um, I don't know if I'll change my mind about that in the future. But, like, currently I'm not really, like, looking to get channel art done. Oh, crap, I didn't need to move my pets, because... I got a new pet recently, and that means I have to move all these guys up a row so they're back in the right order that they should be in. Okay, that's good. So let's get the uh, Battle for Tailton 2 mission on Elite. To our mage stuff, do a snap pass, and that. And let's summon a doll bag because there'll be some decent gold drops here. Ice mines. Fun times. There we go. Okay, let's get this charged up. And... Fire. Oh, one other archer is still alive. Shame I can't attack him when he's frozen. Let's start charging up again for the next enemies. See, I didn't step on an ice mine, that guy did. I just got, like, 
hit by the recoil of it. Okay, let's use Dance Death. And we'll use it again because Encore is awesome. And we can follow it up with a shockwave. If anyone lives. Oh, okay. We got them all. Get all that gold. How did I get frozen that time? I was on a very far distance away from that enemy. Okay, go ahead and get that gold. Oh, that guy's still alive? Okay, there we go. Well, let's go ahead and open this up. And when does that rebirth potion expire? Eight days. So I should probably just wait for my natural rebirth then, because like we only have like a three day wait until that. Let's cancel that summon. I'm going to power level my character in the Baltane mission really quick. So special unit, enter camp. When does that Baltane crystal expire? Yeah, seven days, uh, but let's use it now. And I also want to use up these too, so I need an excuse to like use these royal combat EXP potions. It'll give us like five times the EXP. So we'll get like the bonus from the 300 crystal. <coughs> and we'll get the uh, five times from that potion thing. And we're also going to get a bonus XP uh, for the, like the first 10 minutes thanks to the joyful Japari Park uh, buff that my uh, crossover pet I can use. Um, let's disable our map for that one because uh, that mission lags a little bit. And it lags a little bit less if you disable your map. Okay, so nowhere to run, and we're gonna do it on Elite. Yeah. I got passes. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, we need to use that potion too. 
So let's use this. We have two of them. So now we're getting a ton of XP. Get off of me. Sometimes these guys try and cheat by like spawning like right in front of you. Charge us up. I take down that bear. Dance to death. That um, pet buff is gonna wear off about at the 20 minute mark. Maybe in the 19 minutes and something seconds, but whatever. Okay, get those guys. These guys.
right there. There we go. 141. Let's see some dance of death. Come on. There we go. XP is starting to slow down a little bit, but we're still making a lot of progress. Oh, we're not getting any more XP? Crap. Guess that's where the XP stops. Okay, well if we're not getting any more XP from this, then there's no point in doing it. Because I'm only in it for the XP. Okay, well we got to 150, that's really good. So let's cancel the summon and open this bag. I get rid of some of these acorns. It's a problem with having squirrel bags, so many of these build up. Okay, exit. Wait, and did we turn in both our quests to Lazaro? I think we did. I may have forgotten to turn in the Gunslinger one, I don't remember. Uh, let's check. Okay, yeah, we did. So we did get both our seals. Hmm! Alright, so that's it for that.
Okay, I'm gonna switch to Xenified Neko, and then we're going to um, do some Grandmaster Merchant stuff with him, and then we're gonna do commerce for the rest of the day. So I will be right back. Okay, so uh, let's go talk to Lazaro and let's uh, pick up our merchant missions today. Did we check them all off the list last time? Yeah, it looks like we did. So since I'm only going to be working on Grandmaster Merchant with Sanified Neko for the time being, um, we're only going to we're going to like pick all three like missions for the same thing. So first mission, merchant. Oh, deliver 50,000 seasonal ducats. So, I guess we just complete that one automatically. I lost 50,000 seasonal ducats, but that's fine. We gain a seal, so I can't complain. Uh, let's get the second mission. And let's get the third mission. Okay, so where are we at with this? Okay, so we must have gotten two seals yesterday and then one from that one. And let's see what missions we can do today. So, defeat an outlaw once, so we have to do bounty hunting. Oh, and use gold strike 50 times. Okay, so let's do the easy one first. Let's get gold strike out of the way 50 times. We'll go kill a bunch of foxes in Draconale, and then we'll go do some easy bounty hunting after that. And then after all that, we'll do some, like, commerce. So let's go to the Albi Dungeon Moongate. That's the one we want for foxes. And if that one, if that one's like full of players, like training, then we'll just go to like Philly or something and do boxes there. It's not a big deal. So I mean, this mission is kind of boring, but like it is simple. You just hit 50 enemies with your gold strike skill.
takes a little while. Like now we have 10. Master of Gold Strike title. Well, I guess we got that. Okay, so that's 20, so 30 more to go. And you can't Dan rank this still. It'd be cool if you could Dan rank this. There we go. Okay, so that's uh, 40 times. 10 more times to go. Yeah, it looks like by the end of today we'll have five um, seals on Merchant out of the ten we need. And I don't think I'm going to work on Sanified Neko's Grandmaster missions over the weekend. I think we'll only work on those on stream because this is a streaming character. I don't do too much uh, with them like, when I'm not streaming. So we'll... Uh, We'll probably have that Grandmaster talent by, like, maybe... Maybe Wednesday or Thursday of, like, next week. Probably. Okay, we're done with this one. It's 
so let's go to Dumbarton. Whoops, I don't need a party. Uh, let's see. Dumbarton, Dumbarton, Dumbarton. Gotta go outlaw hunting. Come on, I've been out of combat for like half a minute already. Wish Map Eve is a little bit faster at realizing when you're actually out of combat. Okay, let's go over to the uh, outlaw board. A lot of people here. So defeat an outlaw once, so that probably means we actually need to find the bandit. Not, not just his homestead or his like minions, but probably the bandit himself. Yesterday we got really lucky with that. Hopefully today we'll have similar luck, but I don't know. And uh, really quick, I will be right back and then we'll get started on this uh, bounty hunting. Okay, so let's go after uh, Stinky Burkus, huh? I think we'll go after him. That's who we pursued yesterday. And when we entered our first bandit homestead, that's who we encountered. So let's look for him. So let's see if there are any bandits like in this area. We'll circle Dumbarton and then we'll check uh, area if no one pops up here.
Okay, something's going on here. It's hard to hear because my gerbils are making a racket in the background. Like it's here hard for me to hear like the thumping noise from the game. No one dropped the homestead pass. Okay. This is roughly the same as it went yesterday, actually. There were, like, some bandits that appeared here, and then, like, the second encounter, uh, they dropped the homestead pass, but not the first. Okay, so let's go this way. Here's the group. And there's our homestead pass right there. Nice. So you have about two minutes to use this, so be sure to use it quickly. Where'd it go? Right here. Okay, so we didn't get um, Stinky Burkis right away this time like we did last time. So instead we just have bandits to defeat. I wonder if this will count or not. It probably won't. We probably actually have to, like, get the bandit himself. How much gold do you drop? 4.8? That's not bad. Man, I wish we had these kind of backgrounds for uh, for our own homesteads. Like, that's what players have been asking for for a long time. Is, like, we don't want to see a wasteland on our homesteads anymore. Give us, like, a background like this. Bandits have nicer homesteads than we do. Like, there's so much detail in these backgrounds here. Where can we go in here? Let's find out. Okay, to this log. Let's find out how far it goes this way. Because I haven't gone like this far this way in a while. It's on the other side here. Just mountains and stuff. Yeah, it'd be nice to have some backgrounds other than like a dead wasteland outside our own homesteads.
Okay, let's see what the chest has. Open that up. And we have building stone, I don't need that. If it was homestead seeds, I might take it, but... Okay, let's exit. In fact, let's actually pull open our own homestead right now, because I have some crops to harvest there. That I should probably get to. So let's get those strawberries. Plant some more strawberries. They take about an hour. So we can harvest these at two if I remember. So I come back here at two. Okay. But like look how look how this is just like a wasteland compared to like a bandit's homestead. The background isn't very appealing. Okay, so let's go back to the bounty hunting board and pick up Stinky Brookus again, and we have to uh, start our pursuit. Unless we already got the quest requirement then. I don't think we did, though. No, okay, so you actually have to defeat the outlaw. Not just uh, not, not just go to his homestead, not just mess up his henchmen. You gotta actually go and beat the actual outlaw. So there's Stinky Burkus. And let's go. Who else is pursuing him? I wasn't paying attention. So we're the only one pursuing him right now. That's good. Like if someone else is pursuing him and like gets to him first, then the bounty hunting thing automatically ends like once he's defeated. Okay. Zoom out. Let's find out where you are. Hello. Oh, let's go. Getting a little bit of lag here. Drop the pass. Okay, so yeah, we do want to take on these guys too. Okay, 
Ow. Okay, so no homestead pass yet. Okay, here's some more. Let's uh, get these guys. And this one a little bit faster. There we go. Still no homestead pass yet. Get some of this gold. In fact, I should have a doll bag summoned for this. Because you can't have a doll bag summoned during commerce now. I don't have one that'll pick up badges on this character, but gold is something else. We can get that. I wonder if the lag is actually me or like, uh, the game. <clears throat> Because surprisingly my, like my, it says my stream is doing fine, so that's good. Like the connection. I'll check the uh, channel population after we finish this round. Okay, crap. There's no more appearing. So where should we go next? We need to check another area. Wait a minute. I hear that. Where's that coming from? There you are. Getting a little bit of lag in game. Hey, uh, if we don't encounter any more bandits like in this area, then we're gonna go to like Dougald Isle, I think, and we'll check out there. So there are still like some popping up here once in a while, so I don't know. Let's see if there are any this way. There might not be, but we'll see. Oh, 
Doesn't look like they're appearing in Duggle. Maybe we'll try the Garrick area next. Okay, so let's go back to Dumbarton. Because obviously there's no bandits this way. And then we'll make the full circle and we're gonna go to Garrick. Why did I go to the math dungeon moon gate? Doesn't matter. I probably just clicked the wrong thing. Oh, it's the wizard, dude. If we take him down, then we'll get our name, like, on the banner. Let's take him down. Okay, he's dead. Oh, and there's a bandit thing here, too. Cool. Bonus. Look at these guys. Okay, so there are two ways to go. We can go towards the uh, ruins, or we can go towards the Sen Mag area. Let's go towards the Dragon Ruins first. Let's see if we can find anyone up here. We found one group of bandits out here. Hey, someone left some gold behind. They're lost. Okay. Make a full circle around here. Oh, there you are. So there are some up here. Nice. Still no homestead pass, huh? Oh, they're being really uh, stubborn about giving me that. 
Yeah, it means the next Homestead Pass I get will have uh, Brookus. Because we need to get him. Okay, let's go this way. Towards uh, Bangor. And since we have to go all the way back and around the other way, let's uh, pull out a slightly faster pet. Cut down on travel time a little bit. Come on, where are you? There's something. Still no pass yet. Jeez. I've taken down like four or five mobs that haven't dropped the pass yet. grassy area up here. Is the music quiet just because I entered the area, or is there a bandit nearby? Sometimes I can't tell. Okay, well, I think that's this uh, game doing something silly. Okay, let's get through this area. Nothing out here. We'll uh, go through here, then we'll connect back to Osna Sail, and once we get into E Main, and then after that, we're gonna go back into the Dumbarton area. So sometimes bounty hunting can actually take a really long time, depending on, like, finding the bandit and all that. Maybe we'll try hunting one in Idia. But ultimately I might have to just give up soon and, like, hunt it down off-stream or something, or, or even give up the quest and, like, just try again next time, which we might end up doing.
Okay, let's go into the next area here. All's in the sale. Okay, nothing down here. How many people are pursuing Brooke? It's just me? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get into the Abnia area next. Oh, here's someone in the Dumbarton area. Now they're back to spawning here. Looks like they just took a little break. No homestead pass yet, as far as I can tell. Okay, let's make the full circle around Dumbarton. Because some bandits finally appeared here, so maybe more will. I don't know. What was that, the only group of bandits that intended to show up in the Dumbarton area? Okay, let's go over here. Alright, we're going into the Abney area then. Let's see if we gain one out here. We might not, but it doesn't hurt to look. Because you're clearly not in the Dumbarton area. 
Or at least not many of them are. If we don't get a bandit encounter here, then... Well, no, we'll cross through the next area, but if we don't get a bandit encounter in the next area, then we're going to uh, change our pursuit and pursue a different outlaw. Tailton area, and let's uh, get faster pet. Jeez, no one in here either, huh? Lagged right into that rock. Yeah, let's go in the next area. Okay, yeah, we're gonna pursue someone else then. Because uh, we're not having any luck finding Stinky Burkus. So, like, where's this extra lag coming from today? Is that coming from my internet, or...? Well, we have one full channel. I don't know. This feels like there's like a little bit of lag here or there. Okay, let's go back to the Barton. And, um... We'll find another outlaw to pursue. How's my uh, knuckles doing? Okay. We'll rebirth into the adventure talent and we'll start pursuing Zippy Knit more because he's one of the outlaw transformations that we need. So let's uh, kill two birds with one stone. That one. We'll keep everything the same.
We'll try going after Zippy for a little bit. Let's see. So no one's currently pursuing him, so we'll be the only ones. That's good. It means no competition. I don't have to fight over the bounty with anyone. Okay, so there's no sign of Zippy in the Dumbarton area. It's not yet. We'll check out Dougal Dial first. Then we'll go through the Colin area, then through the Tailton area, and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going in a big old circle like that. Sign of and it's anywhere. Wow. But sometimes all you have to do is find out the main area they're hiding out in. Doesn't give you any clues as to what area they're hiding out in, does it? Not as far as I can tell. Okay. Uh, let's go. Okay, no bandit encounters so far. So let's check out the Colin area.
Oh, and this is actually the uh, Tailton Graveyard up here. Okay, forget it. We're not going to pursue bandits today. Uh, I'm tired of wasting my time looking. Like, obviously, uh, getting an outlaw would take either the rest of the stream or, or longer. So, I'll just cut my losses, we'll forfeit that quest, and then we'll just turn in the other one. We, we did two other quests today, it's not a huge deal to me. If it takes a day or two longer to get that Grandmaster Merchant thing. I wonder if Tailton has the largest graveyard in the game. It might. Well, let's see, there's a graveyard in Turconel, there are two graves at Cobb, and there is a small graveyard at Belvas. Avon has a small graveyard as well, and so does Ternanag. Yeah, I think, I think the graveyard... Wait, there might be one that's bigger. Um, let's see... There's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, uh, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Um, there are like thirty four graves here, I think. And let's see. I think there's, like, a graveyard out here, too, in the outskirts of Avalon. This is, like, the only other graveyard that I can think of. So there's, like, what, 37-ish graves in, um, Tailton? How many tombstones are there here? Probably a lot more. Oh, wow. Um, at least it feels bigger. They have four here, five, six, seven, eight, And 22, obviously that big grave is 23, uh, 27, 31, 32, um, yeah there are a lot more graves here than there are in Tailton, wow. So yeah, uh, I guess Avalon has the biggest graveyard in the game, but the Tailton one sure comes close. So that's actually really impressive. Currently, Xenified Neko is only working on his uh, Grandmaster Merchant because I'm doing a lot of commerce anyway, so I figure why not take it up. Biggest graveyard in the game. So there are two graveyards on Belvas, then, technically. Okay. 
Unless there's a graveyard in the, uh, I don't, I haven't really been to the, well, I have been, I have been to, like, this area, but, like, I haven't really been there recently, so there might be a graveyard there, but I don't think so. I don't really need to get any bandit kills uh, today. I'll be working on this uh, commerce thing again on um, on like Monday. Actually, I need to turn in the one where I use like fifty, where I use like gold strike fifty times. So let's go to Tara Castle. and get that turned in. in here and get that seal. So we got two seals on commerce there. That's pretty good. A merchant. So six more to go. Wait a minute, collect casual print wear. I'll figure that one out. Later on. Wait, how many of these? 550 and these sell for 18 in core? And 1000 and these sell for 12 in core. Okay, we'll take these. Alright, let's go to uh, core village. That's where I'm gonna head. And work on my core rating and my quilla rating. Oh, and actually, we should use a uh, reduction candy and a speed potion. There we
I think we can just auto route through most of this. Yeah, dodge that guy. A lot of bears out here. How many you cats does my character even have? Oh wow, we have like 2 million seasonal in like, uh... Yeah, 2 million seasonal. That's good. If I get Grandmaster um, Merchant, then I'll be able to... It'll give me, like, one extra uh, slot for more goods, and it'll also increase how much weight we can carry by, like, I think 200. Actually, we can check that now, since we have a Master Merchant rating. We just have to take a look at that. Oh, 100. Okay, so we get one more inventory slot with the unique effect and 100 weight. But still, that's not too bad. I have not done a lot of the uh, airship stuff. I don't think I've even tried it on my main yet. I have seen it done by like um, Korean streamers though. Like I've seen like uh, some live streams about it. From what I've heard on the forums, it's quite difficult. I think for today I just kind of want to work on like getting my uh, Quill and Core rating up, but uh, maybe sometime next week, like Monday or something, uh, sometime next week I might be willing to try like an airship one. Oh crap, I got too close to these guys. Let's use some Meteor. There we go. Only one guy left. Wait, can you double bag someone during commerce? I think you can. I think it just gets cancelled like after... Yeah, okay, good. We'll keep that guy summoned for now. Okay, there's our bridge. Let's get into the Coracle area.
Oh, there's a bandit. Uh, let's see. Let's auto route right over there. And the bridge will be like right here. Oops, got a little too close to these guys. Oh, okay, it's just a novice bandit. Are there any skills I can rank up? Let's see. Okay, anything we can level? Oh, we can take up uh, Finny Catching. Yeah, that one increases just from killing anything, so it makes sense to be there. And uh, shockwave. Okay, there's our bridge. Okay, let's sell this stuff. And really quick, let's find like something to use Doppelganger on. Because I have, I've had this hidden skill for a while and I haven't really been using it.
Two stamina, nice. Actually, Kiwis are kind of tough. Let's go to, um... Let's go here. Come on. There we go. doppelganger training done here. Two more. Okay, two strength that time. The so first of the stamina, now it's strength. Stamina. Two more strength. Take a full mastery. Ice Master needs. Yeah, Ice Master needs to go up. Go up fire. Fire Master is rank, rank 1. Okay. So we should actually switch to using some Ice Bolts then.
I'm going to summon up our new pet, too, because I actually have him set to give me bonus XP for uh, magic-related things. Okay, Bolt Mastery is almost there. Okay, there we go. I probably need to take a Bice Spear Bunch, too. Yeah. So that can go up to rank 6. Work on Ice Spear after this.
There we go. Let's get that one. We have a... Yeah, okay, we have that in effect. Good. Wait, is that lasting 15 more minutes or 15 hours? Fifteen hours. Wise Mage. Master Vice. Doppelganger. Okay, we need one more doppelganger to level it to four. Okay, Ice Spear rank 3, and... Doppelganger rank 4. Nice. Okay, rank two. 
One more rank and then we'll become fusion bolt stuff too. Okay, Fusion Bolt next. So let's just use like these two. Oops, wrong thing. Let's use six and four. We need one more doppelganger technique. Okay, and this is rank 3 now. And we can take up Shockwave too, alright.
Okay, I think we need to do one more doppelganger technique before we can level it. And let's take up that fusion bolt. So, rank two, nice. Okay, Fusion Bolt is rank 1. That's great. And we can take this up to rank 2. So else do we have to work on for magic skills? Good try Blaze. Alright, Master Mage, very nice. Get some MP back. MP shortage again, huh? Oh, let's see here. There, that'll help a little bit.
Okay, rank two. One more rank to go. Okay, rank one. Blaze is finished. Wow. Uh, Firebolt's up there. Magic Weapon Mastery's up there. There isn't too much more to work on in, as far as attacks go. Wait, we need to do Firebolt more. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, one more uh, doppelganger technique and we'll be done with that. And we'll also finish out Firebolt here too. Rank. Let's get Shockwave up there too while we're at it. Okay, now we can just work on Firebolt for a little while. Okay, one more rank to go.
Okay, just one more. There we go. Okay, we can get out of here. And let's go back to Core Village, because that's where we were when we were doing commerce. So yeah, we took up some mage stuff today. That's good. I need to get that done anyway. Oh, and we need to stop by the homestead, too, because uh, those strawberries should be done. Yeah, they should be. Let's see. Okay. Time to do some farming here. Get these. All of these. Next level up. Okay, let's plant some more stuff. Wait, what seeds do we have? We got tomatoes. Let's get some of those used up. Sanified Cat still has like a lot of like homestead seeds in his inventory. So I should actually pull some of those out of his inventory and give them to Xanified Neko. But for now we'll grow some tomatoes. Because These ones will take an hour and a half. I'm trying to remember to come back after my stream and uh, harvest those. How many more expansions are there for like the actual? There, I think there must be at least like two more land expansions between here and like the final level of the homestead. And then there are like six expansion passes. In fact, there was one time when they gave like the first three expansion passes out for free. Do I still have this thing in a bank? Because when it's time, I'm going to have a uh, Xanified Neko. Use those expansion coupons. So let's see if I have them in my bank somewhere. Yeah, they're right here. So um, when we get to the max level, we need a level 14 homestead to use those. Okay. I think I will use those on Xanified Neko because I use them more than Xanified Cat now. All right, let's go do some commerce. We're going to make a run all the way to... All the way back to Quilla. And then, depending on the time, we might make one more run to Core Village again. I'm not sure. Uh, but before we get started, I will be right back.
Okay, so that bandit encounter candy will last for about five more minutes. Well, eight more minutes. Uh, let's use this potion and um, I'll pack a pet and let's go. What are we taking back? Hmm, these sell for 18 Inquilla. Yeah, we'll take these. Platera raspberries. Okay, let's get across the bridge. I never did get around to finishing Gen 9 this week like I planned to, but... I'll try and put that... I'll, I'll try and get that done in, like, next week. Can't guarantee that'll happen, but... I don't know, for some reason I'm just never really that motivated to work on alchemy-related story. Like, out of all the generations, um, I'm, I'm pretty lazy about some of them, but I think, like, I just have no motivation to ever really do Alchemist that much. But we're, like, on the final mission. We have, like, two more battles to get done, and then we're, like, done with it, so... Yeah, I don't think it'll take that long, like... Probably take less than an hour to finish the whole thing. And then we won't be starting Gen 10 until at least February. Early February is my plan on starting Gen 10. Eventually I do want to do that one because like, I, I think Demigod is probably the best transformation in the game. It has a lot of uses. And then after that we're probably gonna do like the stuff in Avon because I need the transformations there. And then we'll come back and do like Gen 11 and 12, like, um, after. I would usually like do them in order, but like I, I need to get to Avon eventually. So like after Gen 10, um, we're going to Avon to get the transformations that we need and the, uh, But mostly transformations. And it's a nice area too, so... I think like Gen 13 and 14 are probably two of the shortest generations out there though. Like Romeo and Juliet and the Hamlet story, like those, those two stories don't take any time at all to finish. I mean, you can finish Hamlet in about two and a half, three hours. Probably even less time than that, if you're speeding through it.
Okay, there's our bridge. Let's get across. And we can auto route pretty much the entire way back. Like the Maze Prairie area and the like like this Rano area here and the uh, Longa Desert are really empty areas. Perfect for like just clicking somewhere on the map and having your character like run there automatically. There's not a whole lot of obstacles out here. Which is kind of nice for commerce. It's just like sort of like putting your uh, commerce mount on cruise control. I mean, you still have to watch the road, but aside from that, it can be a little relaxing just taking in the scenery. I think that's why I like Commerce a lot, is like, I get to go through all these great areas of the game, like, and, and see what's actually in the world. Because... Oh, why I teleport all the way over here? Okay, well this guy's a weakling. Because like, these days with the Traveler's Guide and everything else, it really does kind of feel like... It really does kind of feel like you don't really travel much anymore in this game. And that's why I think- that's why I'm so glad we have like such a great commerce system like this. Because like, it still encourages players to travel the old fashioned way. Like the, the same old way that it used to be. I think that's important. I think it's important to like see the world of the game, not just teleport everywhere all the time. Only seeing the parts of the game that are relevant to the event or the story. I mean like, yeah, okay, I get it. It's nice to get things done quickly and efficiently, but at the same time it's also nice to take in the sights and to like feel the world of the game and not just... and not just see bits and pieces of it. And there have been a lot of people talking about Elf and Giant Marriage on the forums, and uh, I, I think that's a great way to improve Idia in general. Like, if we're talking about the next big idiot update, what that should be, I think it sh I think it's pretty obvious it should be Elf and Giant Marriage. I'm not sure... I, I think there might be plans for Elf and Giant Marriage in Korea. I'm not sure if they've actually done it yet. I imagine I would have seen posts about it on the Korean site if they have implemented it yet, but... So I don't think it's been added yet. But I think it was on like one of their lists of like things to maybe add. Oh, and there's also another idiot update that came out in Korea like really recently. It like just came out and it's um, in the physics area. Why am I being teleported all the way back here? I don't get that. Like, that's some big rubber banding lag right there. That's weird. Well, I'm glad these bandits are easy, though. But, like, there was, like, a big update in Korea that came out, like, recently. And, um, it's... It's, like, something that takes place in Physis. So... Near, near Vales. Maybe near Silva Forest. 
So it has like a new boss, it's some sort of like new shadow dungeon or something like that of some type. I'm not exactly sure on all the specifics, but it does look really cool. So that's going to be like an idiot update that we can look forward to. Since it just came out in Korea, I'm going to assume that it's going to take at least six months to get here. Because if we look at the Idia Commerce update, for example, that came out in like December of last year, uh, or no wait, um, hang on, that's not right. December of year before last. So it's 2023. Yeah, I think it came out in like December 2021 in Korea. The Idea Commerce update. And then we got it in 2022 in like the end of June. So it literally took like six, seven months for Idea Commerce to get here. So we can assume that we're going to have to wait about the same amount of time for this other update. So yeah, if we get that and then like some elf and giant marriage, that'd be great because it definitely looks like they're finally taking a look at Idia and going and, and, and like saying to themselves that like, hey, there's nothing here. Let's add stuff. And I'm, I'm glad they're adding stuff. I think that's great. Because we need more stuff in India. Okay, let's turn this in. Sell all that. Okay, well that's... I'm not going to go back to core. I don't think. Not today. That's pretty good on the commerce. How's my weapons looking? Okay, that has that's a little splint there, Billy. Maybe we should clean up my inventory a little bit. Okay, so let's take a look here. Where's that Milky Way flute? I'll put that in here too. And then... Drop that. Okay, cancel the summon. Let's work on our event stuff. I gotta get 10 of those notes crafted. So it'll take a little while to get 10 of these. And then once we craft 10 of these, we can turn in... We can turn them in and we can get like 50 more. So we'll have like 140 after that. You only need to do 10 of them, though, to, like, finish your daily. You only want to, like, craft... You only want to use, like, more of them if you want, like, uh, more random prize boxes to get one of the uh, new sewing patterns or the, one of the... or that new chair that came out. There's, like, a... There's, like, a tailoring pattern for a bunny robe and a new, like, bunny chair item. But honestly, the chair item isn't really that big of a deal because that chair item will probably just be on sale in the auction house for under a million gold in a month, so...
Okay, we need to craft eight more. I think it's a real shame that you can't do this on on the boats when you're commercing. I think that's a massive waste. Like I tried doing that yesterday to like test it out to see if it would work. When we were like commercing from you lad to idia and we can't use this like we can't do this during commerce. I think that I, I really do think that is kind of waste though because like if you think about it those boat rides are anywhere between like 6 and 15 minutes practically. That's the perfect opportunity to work on an AFK thing like this. Okay, we need six more. I think we'll actually craft all of it and um, talk to the NPC. We'll like craft the 10 we need and talk to her and get our notes. I forget, what are the prizes that we get if we help her like a said number of times? Like, what is it? Okay, that's the daily. This is the main one. Okay, so if you complete the main quest line, then you get the mannequin selection box and the legendary jade rabbit second title coupon, which you can view on the uh, post. The mannequin selection box basically just lets you pick out a chair item, like uh, one of the mannequins as a chair item. So the beginner's one, the journeyman's one, and the professional's one. Okay, five more to go. Or four more to go. Almost done. I mean, if you want to make something like this go by quick, just like stay somewhere in Idia because most of Idia doesn't have like background music. So, like, go somewhere quiet where there's no like music going on and where there aren't any animals then just like then just go ahead and like watch YouTube or something or Netflix or whatever just like watch a show for like an hour or two and then you'll be done when you come back that's what I do most of the time with this kind of thing Alright, let's see, almost done with that one. Come on, come on, come on. And if you bother, like, crafting the journeyman's mannequin or the professional's mannequin for this, like, basically this timer will just move, like, a little bit faster. I think it increases, like, your rates of crafting, like, higher quality... Higher quality sewing patterns. Okay, one more to go. So let's select cancel, that way when the, this one finishes, we'll be all finished. Then we can quickly warp to Dumbarton and get that taken care of.
All right, we're all done. So off to Dumbarton. Let's go turn in our daily. And we'll ride Xanified Star. Here we go. So the NPC is right over here. At least I can see her. There aren't any players crowding her right now. Okay, so we're going to end the stream right here. So again, don't forget about the Militian events, the Lunar New Year hot day. And so be sure you log in uh, between, between tomorrow at 7 a.m. and Thursday uh, at 7 a.m. Make sure you log in somewhere between that time and get one of these things.